Personal Liberty Digest Studios, located in the baggage compartment of Al Gore's chartered private jet, because that's how we live green. I'm Ben Crystal, and this is the Great Eight for the week of July 16th. New troubles for the TSA as a report has come out outlining more than 25,000 security breaches at the nation's airports. The TSA defended itself, however, quote, between stealing iPods and humiliating disabled people. Do you realize how many four-year-olds we see? <laughs> Only got two hands. Okay, that's all we're saying. Meanwhile, President Obama threw a tantrum and stormed out of budget meetings with Republican leadership. Unfortunately, the TSA overheard someone comparing the president to a four-year-old and strip-searched him in the Oval Office. Awkward. A Daily Telegraph account of the president's temper tantrum and walkout of the recent budget talks with Congress has noted that Obama, quote, is famously cool, unquote. But the story behind the story has it that they had to include that line or Obama swore he would hold his breath until they did. <laughs> And Obama is telling Americans that the budget crisis requires tough choices. It's time to, quote, eat our peas and pull off the Band-Aid. Of course, when he says we need to do that, he doesn't mean him, because Mr. Soros is more of a broccoli guy, and Obamacare doesn't cover Band-Aids, kids. As the financial crisis continues, the Chinese say they think we're spending too much on our military. Gee, thanks for the tip, communist oppressors who run people over with tanks. Obama was quick to respond, however. Can, can we do that to Eric Cantor? Is, is, is that allowed? President Obama also announced the opening of the 2011 Save Award Contest, in which contestants submit ideas on how to best help the federal government cut wasteful spending. The contest was suspended, however, after the first 50,000 entries all suggested fire the president. Fire Obama, fire Obama. You know what? It's a tie. It's a tie. We're all winners here. The House Oversight Committee has begun inquiring into whether there was a secret Obama administration plan similar to the now exposed Fast and Furious fiasco, which supplied guns in this case to narco terrorists in Honduras. Al Qaeda released a statement claiming they were being unfairly persecuted since they're apparently now the only terrorist group in the world which has received neither money nor guns from the Obama administration. And General Electric CEO and Obama crony Jeff Immel told an audience at a job summit last week that the American business sector needs to spur the economy by hiring. An interesting idea, given that GE, which has paid no federal income taxes last year, has eliminated more than 36,000 jobs since 2009. You guys need to hire some more people. Here, have some of mine. <laughs> and that's your grade eight for this week, kiddies, for the Personal Liberty Digest. I'm Ben Crystal saying, welcome to the world, Reed. Don't mind the mess. We're, we're going to clean up next November. <laughs> <laughs>